Hello everybody and welcome again to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. I got you something very, very, very different today. When Lynn and I got married, uh, the first four or five years, man, I got all into learning how to cook Chinese food. I mean, any kind of Chinese food you can cook, I can cook it. Uh, but one thing that really stood out to me, one day we was eating a long, long, long time ago, uh, probably around 30 years ago, me and Lynn was uh, eating at a Chinese restaurant and the owner came up and said, would you like to try fried ice cream? Let me say that again. I said fried ice cream. You didn't hear that wrong. And I laughed it off. I was like, sure, yeah. And I thought he was joking until he brought this back to me. Y'all check this out. Making fried ice cream today, y'all. First thing you do is get your ice cream. You scoop it out with a good scoop. Try to get your balls a little bit bigger than the golf ball. Let me show you. Can you see that? That's how you want to get them. You scoop them out, then just try to shape them a little bit. I've had these things in the freezer for one hour after I got them out and shaped them. Now, they're hard as a rock again. Now, let me show you what I'm going to do. Right here, I've got my bread crumbs. What this is, I've got about seven, eight of these uh, cinnamon graham crackers here. Seven or eight of those and a good handful of the cornflakes. And I pulverize it into my uh, processor. Show me a little processor I got there, man. Them little ninja things are so good. And y'all, what I'm going to do now... I'm going to coat this. Watch this real quick. I'm going to coat this in the crumbs. Real good. Go over into the egg. That's just two eggs, no water or nothing. Just, and go right back into your crumbs. You want to work fast now. You really want to try to work as fast as you can. I right, put that on there. I'm going for number two. Put it in the, the crumbs first. The graham cracker and cornflake crumbs. Get them in there real good. All right, go over into your egg, pure egg, nothing added. Go back into your breadcrumbs. Y'all, these things are so good. You can trip people out with this dessert here. It is so good. A lot of people have never heard of fried ice cream, I guarantee you. All right, into your crumbs. See how fast I'm working? It ain't like it's going to melt and instantly, you know. Not like, yeah, you just want to try to get back in the freezer. What I'm going to do is coat these things and put them back in the freezer for about an hour. Then they'll be ready to fry. Going back into the crumbs, getting it in there real good, rolling it over, pressing a little bit, not hard because this is ice cream. Putting it on my little plate. Now here's the fourth. I'm going to show y'all four of them today. You can do it after that. Getting them in there, getting them breadcrumbs on, then put the egg on it. Lord and Lord, you can't go wrong with a coating of egg. This will work, y'all, with regular breadcrumbs. You might, eat, you probably want to add some cinnamon and sugar into it, though. Okay, and that's it. See that? Got them good and covered and everything. Now, they're going back in the freezer for about one hour. We'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Our ice cream balls have been sitting in the freezer for about a good hour. I'm going to get them out. They are sure enough frozen now. Now we're going over to the fryer and fry them. Okay, what I'm going to do, y'all, is put all four of them down in there. Now, you're going to work very quickly with this. I'm talking within 10 seconds, these boys are going to be done. Once this got my grease at 350. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That quick, everybody. Now what you want to do? Grab my little cones. Be careful. Go ahead and put them in your little bowls. These boys are done. Work quickly right here. Put them in your bowls. Very nice. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful in the air. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go down and show you how to dress them. You can put anything, the way you dress these things, make it your own, but I'm just going to give you a suggestion because I love caramel and everything. Look at this, y'all. Jizzy, some caramel over there. Look at that. You don't want to take too much. You don't want to overpower the ice cream. Put about a good tablespoon on each one. Y'all, come on. Who can't, who can't do without that when you're stuck? Just a little squirt, however much you like. And last but not least, candy cherry on top of it. Look at that, y'all. Y'all, it's that easy. These things are so good. Again, it's right here something the kids will love. You can probably trip them out with it, telling them you're going to be frying ice cream tonight. Show it to them. You'll love them. Let me show you this. 
Y'all check this out. It's got a little crunch to it. That is so good. Let's see if I can get it right. Look at that. It's so good, y'all. You've got to try this. Again, thank y'all for tuning in to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall today. I hope you learned something today new. Try this. You're going to love it. God bless everybody. Remember, Jesus is Lord always. Hey, everybody. Uh, good afternoon from Mama Joy to laundry room today. <laughs> I'm in my little cubby hole in here, surrounded by hundreds of cards that people have sent. But it's good to know that I still got a great big family out there in the whole world that loves me. But I love you too. That love goes two ways. I mean, I love you, you love me. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> but I've missed y'all. Y'all are my family. I'm a mama too. Oh, I can't even begin to count now. But it's been a fun journey. And I hope uh, good help for me where I can come back and get back in the old kitchen and get in the pots and pans again. <laughs> But I do. I've missed everybody. And it ain't been fun in here, I'll tell you. There's been some bad times in this laundry room with me here lately. But God's bringing me through it. Because there's still a lot of fishes out there in the sea that we got to reach. Because, y'all, time is short. Jesus is coming soon. And we got to get them all in before it's too late. So that's my prayer for everybody today. Be good to everybody. Love them. Because when you love people, true love, miracles happen. Uh, you can't hang around where people love each other and some kind of miracle not begin to happen. It may be a week or two before you see it, or maybe even a month or two, but where there's love from the heart, miracles come. So let that be a thought. Uh, keep that in mind. That's a good thought. Miracles are coming as long as you keep love in your heart. Well, I got to go now. <laughs> <laughs> love y'all, and I'll come back again and talk to you, God willing. Bye.